I'm pretty sure he is. All right. Nicely done. Here we go. We got him. Better go straight up and down on that net, Dave. Ah, don't worry. I won't let you down. Nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> You're watching Northeast Angling. We're proud to present inshore and offshore saltwater fishing. We cover every species from fluke and porgies to stripers, sharks, and tuna. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations at neangling.com. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're out here in Block Island. It's July, and we're doing something we haven't done in a while, which is we're going night bassing with the eels. Oh, we're going to say evening bass. Well, evening, because we're afraid that when it gets dark, we're not going to be able to see anything, and no one else is going to see <laughs> anything either. <laughs> So we're out here with our good friend Dave Pippo <laughs> from Block Island who, Fishing Charter. Who, mind you, already has a fish on. on right, the, who, on the first who hooked trip. up the moment he got here because his eel was ready and Rich and I were not ready it's to put he, our eels on. He was nice enough to rig himself and not us, yeah, but that's okay. And now his, his line is actually crossed back over ours, and we're just kind of ignore it for a little bit and then make him come back. I'm going to let him go here. back and I'm going to get up front. going to switch spots. Right. Dave, you get behind me. I really oh, don't want really to be next to you two either. So. <laughs> All right. So, not, we're, gonna, we're doing night bassing, and there's a lot we got to know about. Know about this is not your average trip. One of the things we're trying to do is get our baits where the fish are. And right now, Dave, you sent me with what a half ounce yeah, uh, egg. Yeah, you up with a half ounce egg, Andy. Well, I got a nice fish on here, guys. Andy, I'm gonna pull this fish around back, keep you clear, okay? And I'm actually only fishing with 20 pound mono, and then, believe it or not, I might have a little problem in a moment. <laughs> so I got a nice bass on. How's your fish look there, Dave? A little small, Andy. And mine's not so small. You know, one thing that's great about this is that we're the only ones out here. Uh, Block Island's loaded with fish as usual in the summer. It's always got a lot of fish. And no, no boat traffic, and it's, it's a pleasure right now. It looks like good fish, Andy. Solid. Nice hook set, Andy, right on the top. It was kind of a soft pick. I waited a little bit, then uh, swung away. Now, Rich, I know that you do a lot of night fishing. If you had to bring a couple of things with you that you always got to make sure you have at night, what do you got to look at? Oh, I'd have to say a light is probably the most <laughs> important thing when you're Besides fishing. Besides the obvious. <laughs> you better have working lights. You know, in a place like this area, you need, obviously, you got to make sure your navigation lights are on. Everything is working, uh, as opposed to bringing what you know. What else do you really need? We're not doing too much different than what we normally would do during the day. It's just it gets a lot trickier because obviously you can't see nearly as much as you can during the day. Right. But I mean, eeling is primarily by us a nighttime gig. Right. You know, this is one of the few areas where you can get away with such successful eeling during the day. You know, by us, I mean you look at the South Shore, Long Island, even Jersey. Our eels really don't really work that well during the day. It's a nighttime gig. And the Western Sound, they barely work at all. Well, only late in the fall when the bunker aren't around. Right. Now, you have to go over me, actually. Though. Yeah, that's what I figured. And I think you got Dave wrapped yeah, in Yeah, I got No, I got him. I'm you on. Got him. No, he's still on there. Yeah, nice fish here. Yep. Yeah, I still got you, Dave. Oh, the very thin hook set on that one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. There you Some go, man. Fish. Dave, I'm going to pull this hook out. I'm going to get you your line in one second here. That's all it took to get that hook out of there. I don't keep that line tight. This fish, I lose him. Hang on, Dave. We're gonna get you up in a second, bud. All right, one more time. There we go. Not bad. Block Island stripers on the eel. Still got a lot of light. Let's get a few more. The shot. All right. Only the second drift of the night, Dave, and you got us in fish again. All uh oh. Right. Look. 
Uh oh. I hear uh -oh. noise. I hear complaining. Rich said his uh -oh. rear might not be tightly packed. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, Rich, it sounds noise. like we gotta start Take the boat, the right, noise. Rich? Yeah. All right, I'm going, Rich. I, I'm fishing unconventional here. I have braid on this. All right, you got this. No, no, you stay right there. All right. You're, You're staying right there. Unfortunately, it's not putting a real very tight. But his eyes start watering. Rich, talk to me. He's got a lot of braid on that tight. I got a lot of braid on this. All right. I know you guys say not to use braid, but I don't know. Only problem is it's a little warped on the spool, so it's a little jerky right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, I got one coming here. Here we go. Line's whipping out. Nicely Take done. This. Great job, baby. Fish on! Fish on, baby. <laughs> I'm loving this. All right, you know what? This is fun. It's a blast. This is now, what we do. One of the uh, things I specialize in, Andy, here on Block Island is doing the nighttime eeling. Yeah. Basically, this is early evening eeling, but it's going to work just the same. And frankly, Dave, it looks like you're the only guy that specializes <laughs> in the I'm telling you, it's all right with me. We'll do it all night long. Hey, you said we needed Enjoy lights, but did. I really don't think yeah. there was a reason for it. <laughs> oh, man. I got a horse on here. All yeah, right. I, think I'll, I think I'll beat Andy Oh, in. it's definitely going to be Rich. All right. All right, Rich, I'm Ooh. coming over. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, he just sounded. I love when they do that. Don't you? Yeah, Isn't that just awesome. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful night on Block Island tonight. Is that your nighttime net, Dave? No, that's your net. Your right. nighttime Do we need net a bigger net? Back. Yeah. I'm looking at the color of that handle, and that looks like a good nighttime net. Well, the handle's ideal, but the basket's not correct. Okay. Well, that net's more of a fluke, fluke net. Or yeah, you got the other more, basket. More of a net for the fish that Rich usually catches. Oh, come to Papa. All right, let me, let me use this basket, Rich, even though it's a little... Uh, yeah, it's fine, David. I'm not worried about it. Hello. Seen the boat. I'll tell you what. Nice looking fish, Oh, that's Rich. a good fish. Very nice. But you know, remember what you said. Rich is going to be in a lot quicker than me. I got a moose on. <laughs> that's the, the Lacasio's last words. I'm getting line, boys. Yeah, you're getting line, all right. <laughs> Take care of Rich. My fish is still taking drag. It's much bigger. Don't worry about me. Oh, I never I'm going to be a while. Rich doesn't have anything big on there. It's no ready, big deal. Well Don't done. worry about it. Nice job, partner. Great fish. That's a slob on it. That's right there. Great fish, Rich. <laughs> All right. You know, that's the way to start the evening. Oh, absolutely. Okay, Rich. Nice solid fish. I'll nice take the fish. Bob. Take the fish. I'll clear the net. Oh, gotcha, baby. All uh, right, that's a nice fish. Yeah, just, uh, slide that it's pretty. Back to it's so team. pretty. I'm coming no, in. I don't want you just to just get in the water. We went over a big I'm going in, boys. I'm going in. Just get your line in. You got I'm going in. Fish? Yeah, I got this. Oh, we get it. You're there, right? No, no, I got it. Right just keep that. Right oh, there. Andy, that's a moose, Andy. Come on, Andy. That's a moose. I'll help you, Andy. I know. It's going to take Come you a while Andy. to get that one in. Pull it right in. the net. He's in. Please don't, Andy. That's what I'm talking about right there. Beautiful. Oh, no. Let's, do, let's, do, the, evening, let's, do, let's do the typical comparison. Mine's got more girth. There you go. That's all clear. Let's see, Rich. I think you got me, bud. I know I do. Because you opened your mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute. How about now? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to let these fish back in the water. Absolutely. We're going to, David, we're going to go up and we're going to make this drift again. I'll right? put you right back on them. Right let's go get them, bro. Come on, let's go. Visit the Northeast Angling website at neangling.com for nationwide saltwater charter directory, fishing news, and free fishing reports. You can also find dozens of techniques, tips, and tackle for every saltwater species. Now let's get back to the action. Now we're on a our third draft. Oh, <laughs> and you know, this is going to be one of those really short nights, Dave. Oh, yeah. Where... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Why might I add me this be a short night? You know, it's going to get dark. And no, I know no, no, you're I'm afraid sorry. of the dark. I I'm sorry, but we're fishing here. <laughs> that would be my bass on the surface out there, also. You know, short this, night. this is just an amazing bite, Dave. How, how long in the season does this go? Oh, Andy, we'll go right through to the end of August. I'm going to keep talking, but I just got hit here. All right, all right. It's been a little soft pick for me. I'm getting out of the way. Yeah, let me swing away. Anytime now, Dave. Watch the tee top, okay? Got him, David. He's I don't know, Rich. He jumped to the back of the boat. I haven't seen him. <laughs> oh, Rich. Looks like I'm into something. There you go, buddy. You know, if we had a couple more angles on this boat, we could have four or five fish on and not just three fish. Exactly. Uh, I got my guy nice and close here. 
Yeah, well. Hey, Rich, could you use the net on that one? He's no, on his you own. Know what, Dave, I'll take care of this one. Okay. <laughs> He's only about 20 pounds, Dave. I'm going <laughs> to. He's running right to me, Rich. Woo! <laughs> I'm uh, sure he's going to be bigger than Andy's, though, Dave. No matter what oh, he looks he's like. He's got a decent fish. I uh, got a pretty good fish here. I'm actually going to try and land him in the transom. Now, I want to see the size difference here. <laughs> I'm afraid Rich's fish is bigger again. It's an ugly pattern here right now. <laughs> I'm enjoying this pattern very much, I might add. <laughs> oh, boy. Dave's about to bomb me with his fish. Don't worry, Dave. You get that fish close. I'll reach down and I'll lip your fish, too. Oh, that'd be nice of you, Andy. Oh, man. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm going to turn her head right to you. Just bring it right over. Oh, here, I got mine off, Andy. That was a solid 20 pound fish. What are you going? Double fisted there, Andy? Look at that. There he goes. Like a vice grip. Hey, Very I think nice. I got Andy rich. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got him beat. <laughs> I got him. You know what's so bad about this? I landed both the fish only to prove that my fish was clearly the smallest one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, All right, guys. Get there, partner. You get. Let's get them unhooked. Let's let's get them. Let's get ourselves back in. <laughs> get back on that drift. And we're gonna do another amazingly short trip. <laughs> you know, one thing that we're doing here is that we got a conventional that Dave's got loaded with 20 pound. Yeah, models. you know, let's talk about that for a minute. Dave's fishing a conventional reel, 20 pound test monofilament. Andy, you're using a spinning reel, 20 pound mon uh, monofilament, and I'm using a spinner with I think 120 braid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's 30 still, pound braid. And I still got more capacity than both your sorry behinds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fishing 30 pound braid, which, believe it or not, probably has a strength of about 120 pound, braid, uh, pound mono. But. Well, that fire line's a very, very tough yeah. line. And, you know, um, though it's rated for 30, it basically stands up and breaks oh, much beyond that. It's, it's amazing. I've actually, I've used 80 pound test floral. And I've tied it to 30 pound braid, and you'll see when you break off, when you hang the bottom, the mono still breaks before the braid does. It's pretty amazing. You're right, and you know, and then it just shows how good your knots are at that point. Yep. Yep. And I mean, I keep it pretty simple. I like the polymer knot with the with the braid, the big game braid, and the, and the fire line. I know Andy, you like to do the bimini's and stuff. Dave, you're you're pretty much polymer. What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing you are, Rich. I'm reverse snelling the hooks direct. I'm running with about a three or a four foot leader on the floral and uh, right through a polymer knot. It's ideal. I got you. It's pretty much the same, Andy. I mean, you're the only one who's a little anal when it comes to knots. And you know, I just uh, like to know that my, I've broken enough fish off on knots. <laughs> now I just tell everybody, you know, tie a knot that you're confident with and test uh, it a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, enough of this. Let's hey, go guys, back up and do this again. Get back, get back up on this trip, boys. Come on, let's do it. All right, Rich, what's your bet on, bet on this, bud? I don't know. I, I, I seen him flub it. <laughs> But he got it back, so I can't get annoyed at him. I caught the one that he dropped just now. Watch, I'm coming under you. Uh oh, go, Dave, go. Where are you? You can do it, bud. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm feeling somebody on me. Somebody's, yeah. It's not, a bad. Not, not in a good way. <laughs> Andy, you got to be wrapped on me somehow. Oh, uh, do I? Have to be. Ah, uh, well, I got a fish on, bud. Come on over here and come close. Yeah, go back. Dave, you start sliding forward a little bit. Yep. I can't. No. I got a nice fish on here. Oh, I, I wait, see risk. your line. Oh, come on over here. Quick, quick, quick. Hey, Andy. Back, guys. Which way? Uh, over the top of me, I believe, and then under. Rich, nice shoot fish, it dude. right at the boat. Yeah, I'll you take go. yours. Give me. Right, I'll good. take yours. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. Nice that move. That was wrong. Dude. I'm a little cramped. That was just it. wrong. All right, boys, let me get out of the way here. <laughs> I know. Well, this is absolutely one of the most incredible bites I have ever seen. We're basically pulling over to this little piece of bottom, dropping our reels down on it. As soon as they get to the bottom, they're picked up. And, you know, Dave, is this night fishing a well-kept secret or what? Oh, yeah. Andy, especially when we have these fronts moving through like this, you get a lot of guys that are kind of stay away from the island. Excuse me for a second. A Fish time. on! Excellent. Hey, looks like Richie's hooked up. <laughs> hey, Rich, you look good. Come on over here, Dave. Start, just grab yourself another reel and get going in here. You want to get a net on this? No, yeah, no, don't worry. All right. Uh-oh. That sounds nice. You know what? I hate to say this, but... No, not again. I completely assed into that fish. <laughs> 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 Is that why I saw it hit? Like on the top? <laughs> All right. I was tangled around you. I was 100 yards 
off the back of the boat, about three feet under the surface. And what did I say? I got to reel this in and reset. I got about halfway in and the rod just doubled over, so I figured I'd swing. <laughs> Guess what? This may be the best fish of the night. <laughs> I got a solid fish on here. You know, this is like after, giggling good fishing. After all my years of fishing, I have come up to one conclusion, and it stands true. I'd rather be lucky and good any day. <laughs> and I really feel the dumber the farmer, the bigger the crop. And that's absolutely <coughs> true. Can we dip in behind you? Yeah, just go and fish, Dave. What's the worst going to happen? You hang up in my, in my line, <laughs> and you hook a fish the way Rich did. <laughs> oh, boy, I hope this one's bigger than yours, baby. <laughs> you know, the bad thing about this, I just seem to be like the low man on the totem pole. <laughs> Rich's look like a nice, solid fish here. I love this. Hey, David, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead, Rich. When Look. we came out of the inlet, where did we come out of now? We came out of... We came out of Old Harbor, Rich. Old Harbor. And that's where the, the charter boats are now, right? Correct, yeah. Okay, your charter boats. Uh, first thing you said, you looked at Andy and you said, Andy, half ounce last night. That was the ticket, half ounce. That, that was definitely the ticket, Rich. Now, well, the explain point. half ounce. Well, half ounce egg saker is what we were running. We found with the weight last night was just enough, Rich, the whole bottom was ideal. Gave the eels an awesome presentation coming off the bottom. We had a heave on last night, too, about six to eight foot swell that we were working with. So uh, the half ounce played into, uh, you know, it was the ticket. Played now, into what God, we were doing. Look at Let me fish. ask you a question. You consider using a half ounce more than normal. Oh, absolutely. You normally you'd lose like an eighth or a quarter of an eighth ounce. or a quarter, no See, weight whatsoever. This is this is what people don't understand though. Yeah. I mean, traditionally, when people go eeling, they're using three ways, four, six, eight, ten ounces of lead sometimes. Totally unnecessary. You, what you're doing at that point, Rich, if you have a drift speed over one knot, you're basically dragging your eel through. It's no longer swimming and giving you an optimum presentation. Oh. That's, see, now this stuff is very important. This was a two-hander, boys. Hey, fish, there Andy. you go. Uh, Look at nice that. Nice job, Andy. Uh, that's what we come That's a Block Island evening bass charter. Blind oh squirrel. Oh, my God. As far as every now and then. I can't believe these fish, Dave. You know what? The one thing we're going to do is we treat them as respectfully as we can. Even though I'm reaching inside the fish's gill, I'm nowhere near the red part of the gills. I'm going to pop the hook out. I'm only using a little 5-0. 5 6-0, that's all you need for this. And you know what, guys? This fish going back. Well, can you hold on to him for one second? No, I don't want to know that your fish is bigger. <laughs> oh, he's got to go. It's time to go. <laughs> oh, God. Actually, it would have been very close. No, no, I had to beat him. <laughs> Dave, I may need that thing with the, the handle on you the want basket. You that thing with that nighttime <laughs> handle on it? I'm coming, brother. I got you. You guys, see, you guys really stuck me in the bow. If you want and, I, and my arms ain't as long as Andy. I can't reach down and grab these things. So I'm going to slide right in here with you. Rick. I'm going to go up here. Yeah. And I'll turn them head first right turn to you. Oh, oh very I think thin. You had Andy very here. thin in the lip, though. Very thin. Look at the hook wow. on that. Go, Dave. Wow. Look at the hook on that one. Nicely done, Rich. I think we're going to need a bigger net. Oh, that's yeah. a slob. That's a nice <laughs> fish. I like slob on the deck. Slob on the deck. <laughs> All right, brother. You know what? Oh, I'm stumbling. I'm stumbling. He's stumbling, bumbling. I get him. Oh, that's a well proportioned fish, too. He's got what's called a belly. And hips and shoulders, even. I want you to see how thin this hook is, though. Hopefully I don't even pull it out with the net. Look at this. Look at this. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This is why you don't horse fish. This is why, I mean, believe it or not, I would have, if I knew I had this fish hooked, I probably would have rather had monofilament on it. Yeah. Because I would have had a little more forgiveness Good. and whatnot. And then we landed that with braid. But just to give you an idea, you know, check it out. Oh, I can't do it my hand slide. I think, I mean, that was right in the lip. I mean, very thin, you know? Yeah. And look at the size of that fish. Beautiful fish. Oh. Congrats. <laughs> Dan, you want to see this one? Yeah, let's see. Oh, come on up. Come on up here. You know? Uh, look at, hey. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to let what? that fish go. You know, almost, almost looks like a job well done. Almost. Don't go there. One of these days, somebody's going to tell you, you know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> Remember I did tell you I backed into this fish. <laughs> All right, we're we'll getting back in the water. Put Good one. Good yeah, one. Nice fish. That's the best fish of the night. Oh. Visit the Northeast Angling YouTube channel for hundreds of videos, including full-length episodes, exciting clips, product reviews, and instructional videos. And now, the exciting conclusion of Northeast Angling. Oh, fish on! <laughs> Wrong. I, must I almost feel like not getting my eel. No, not for nothing. Not for nothing. But that fish was running for the for the last five seconds. You were talking to me. I just had to do that. Oh All my right. god. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go oh, back and put my eel on and catch a big fish. <laughs>
Oh, I love this game. I said it before, I'll say it again. Fishing is fun. All right. Oh, oh my lord. Of course, lord. I get bit off. Dave, am I around you? Yeah, you might be over. All right, just take your take your rod, go under me and around me. Hold on, I got oh, a Oh, look at that pot just kicked by, too. Pot. <laughs> I'm on it, guys. I'm on the pot. Uh-oh. Are you? So is You're going to have to run me up and around fast. Dave, get yours in. Yeah, I'm going to break mine off, Rich. Get All me right, around right. that pot. Hopefully, he didn't wrap a couple of times. I'll let you know in a minute. If not, not only are we going to have bass for dinner, but lobsters, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we might have got them off. We get them off, Rich. I think we did. All right. Uh, I still feel a little vibration here. May just be you rubbing on me now, Dave. I don't want to part your line. Dave, I'm just gonna break mine off. Hold him straight. Hold him straight. No, don't, don't, Dave. Don't break nothing. Just hold on. Are you still on the pot? If he's got Dave, you got a fish on you, are you? If you, you better break it off, because if that's a fish, you're not gonna hear the end of this. <laughs> I just want to save some of my line. There it is. Usually we don't lift fish this size. <laughs> <laughs> we know the net's here, but everybody's busy. So oh, no, it's right. very hot. It is beautiful oh. sunset up here, Rich. It's it is, it is nice. It is nice. It is nice. Here, oh, go man. ahead and get your hook out of your All fish. All right, I'll be back. Got him. Got him? Yep. What happened there, Dave? Were you really on yeah, the pot? Yeah, pot. That? I was on the pot, and I wanted to Rich, take you my leader, fish my sinker. Just give me one. Let me just get here. the hook out. Okay. Oh! That. I call a good fish. That's a nice fish. Sure is. Absolutely getting it done. Gonna look even better tomorrow. Yeah, and it's getting dark. Here we go. Watch out. Very I'm soon. I'm gonna go for the slide. Oh, take care, big guy. Oh, that's a, oh, look at that. He did like a little porpoise there at the end, too. That was nice. Good job. One or two more drifts. This is a solid one. <laughs> All right. It's about the time I hook one bigger. Give me a minute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. I hate to say this. Nice fish. And what I'm trying to do now is just cut the spool and slow him down a little bit. I put the biggest deal on I could find out there. When he picked it up, I, I need help. Start the motors. You want to start them up? I'm yeah, getting I'm hit. Afraid so. Just start it so I have them. Nope, uh, I'm getting line, getting a little line. He heard the motors. Turn the motors off, turn the motors, turn the motors off. off. Oops, Andy. Never mind, Never mind. <laughs> turn them on. Hey, Andy. Yeah. I, oh, actually, Dave, I noticed you said before, you had a trotter last night, and um, you were letting these fish run for a while because they were very finicky the way they were picking baits up. Obviously, that's not the case tonight. Not the case at all tonight, right. Rich. You're but, just slamming the eels and yeah. taking off and just swing hard. But, you know, as a rule of thumb, Andy, you know, I guess I, I always say it depends on the aggression of the fish. But uh, with an eel, do you like to let them run? How far do you like to let them run? What do you do? You know what? Normally, I'd let them run a long time. But tonight, these fish are so aggressive, I'm letting them run maybe 20 feet tops, and I'm just rearing back and hitting them. Plus, I got mono in the water. It's a big loop in the line. There's probably, the run is a little bit longer than you think it is. Well, you know, it, it was kind of funny. You know, we, basically, we've had you three drifts, I okay. mean, uh, three fish, one fish apiece on every single drift. Yes. And then Dave looked up at me and says, Rich, this gets better. And I, as it gets darker, and I basically said, how? He I said mean, the fish get bigger. That's what he said, yeah. And it gets even easier. Wow, it's amazing. I don't feel like it's any easier. Are you getting any line? I'm getting line. Right, it's just not great. coming very quick. And you know what? The, my biggest fear right now is it's a big fish, and we're in a pot field. Right. I'm just hoping that I get it to the boat before we come by another pot. No, we look pretty, I'm looking, you know, behind us, Andy. We look pretty clear. I'm starting to get him now. I think, uh, Dave, I think he's using that as an excuse. If the fish comes off, he's going <laughs> to say he grabbed the pot. But, yeah. <laughs> I got news for you, Rich. That pot's long gone, and we're just, just under two knobs. <laughs> this is a fast trap. Uh, it's a really big fish. Beautiful oh, yeah. fish. Now, I'm hoping yeah. this fish is bigger than you built him up to be. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is. All right. Nicely done. Yeah, we go. We got him. Better go straight up and down on that net, Dave. Ah, don't worry. I won't let you down. Nice fish. Nice. Thank you for watching. You can use the buttons below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch more videos, or to learn more about the location, techniques, and gear as seen in this video.